Hi, this is Galit Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move to your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling good. Today our quote of the day is all about integrity and it is, problems are not stop signs, they are guidelines by Robert H. Schuller. When you face some kind of problem in your life, it does not mean that it is time to change your focus and change your goals. It only means that something needs to change. Problems are guidelines to what is missing or what needs to be changed within you that if you had or did, then you would not probably not face this problem. I see every problem as a guideline to what needs to be changed and you can see this too. Usually one moral principle could be missing and this is usually what's wrong that either you either missing in you or with the situation or with the person that you're in, interacting with although it is always easier to blame someone else for your situation that you may be in uh, perhaps the situation could have been avoided if you had done something differently within the moral guidelines if you had behaved differently if you had taken different actions now our actions come from our default belief patterns and the way we view the world and sometimes we have not had a chance in life to work on one or more of the common moral principles in order to uh, be sure that we consider them with every choice. So this is something important and that you want to learn how to do. So I want to go into the five important common moral principles. And the first one is autonomy, where you are the ruler of yourself. You understand that you have the freedom of choice and freedom of action, and you take responsibility for both your choices and your actions. Autonomy means that you make your own decisions and act on your own values. And this comes hand in hand with the next moral principle, which is non-maleficence. And this means that you are not causing harm to others. Always this uh, saying that above all, do no harm. So although you want to make your own choices and choose your own line of action, you do want to make sure that you are, uh, although you don't want to be swayed by other people's opinions, you must make sure that you're not inflicting intentional harm and do not engage in any actions that may harm other people. So this moves on to the next uh, moral principle, which is beneficence or generosity and doing good and preventing harm wherever possible. For example, when you see some wrongdoing, it is your moral duty to do something and not just be a spectator. When George Floyd was lying on the ground under the police officer's leg, the spectators of this horrific behavior should have, could have done something to try and prevent this uh, behavior. Problems escalate when we are not doing our best to be generous and do good to others. And the story of Joy, and this jo story of George Floyd also brings us to the next principle, the next moral principle, which is justice. This shows a general respect for other people, treating people as equals no matter where they are from and what they look like or what they have. But instead, to be just in your behavior and treatment towards anyone who behave in such a manner. When we do not behave in a just manner, this leads to corruption. When personal interest gets in the way of our choices and just treatment is not given to all people, then this will lead to problems ahead. Indeed, most problems in politics stem from unjust behaviors. And the last of the moral, uh, moral behaviors is fidelity, meaning being faithful and loyal and honoring your commitments. Note that each one of these five principles, moral principles, is of equal value to the others. They are all equal. When you encounter a problem in your life, look towards these five moral principles and see if you were lacking in one of them that made the situation turn into a problem. Were you not true to yourself? Or did you let other people move you away from your values? Did your choices or actions harm other people? Or were you... Prevent, were you not preventing harm from other people or were you not generous enough or did you not did you lack respect for other people and uh, not give perhaps other people an equal chance when they deserve it 
And lastly, were you, were you honoring your commitments? Were you loyal and faithful? These are the questions that you need to ask yourself in order to see where your problem came for, from. Most likely, the core of your problem was from a place of not having integrity and not following one or more of these moral principles. It could have also been that the person you were interacting with was not following one of these moral principles, but you should always look at yourself in order for you to improve yourself first. When you have a problem in your life, consider the five moral principles. I'll go over them once more. Autonomy, non-maleficence, beneficence, ju uh, justice, and fidelity. And it will be quite an eye-opening um, ordeal when you find out which one you have overlooked. Were you untrue to yourself and to your moral principles? Where did you stray off the path of, of integrity? When, once you gain this clarity about your problem, think about the facts and remove all suspicions and assumptions. Look at the true facts as they were and ask yourself, what did I or did I not do that I should have done? Or what am I not doing or doing that I should perhaps not, have, not be doing? Consider the potential consequences of your choices and actions while determining a new course of action. Now, how do you know if your new course of action or what you should have done in this situation is the right course of action? Well, you must check the, if the new course of action presents new moral issues. If, one, if, if another moral um, behavior was affected, if your new course of action or what you think you should have done affects another moral principle, then maybe you have identified, then maybe you have not identified the problem correctly. Go back and rethink your choices and actions until you find a solution to your problem or find a way that you should have behaved that does not lead to any negative effect on any of the moral principles. And when you have figured out what you should have done or what you should do, then this and it is in alignment with all of the moral principles, then just do it. Um, or be more aware of your actions so that you will not end up in a similar situation in the future again. This will spare you a lot of suffering in the future. So, I hope you like this video. As I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself to help you gain more clarity for your situation and move you to a better place in your life. So the question of the day is, when I examine the, when I examine the problem, which of the moral principles was I perhaps violating? And what could I have done instead that is in line with all of the moral principles? As usual, I recommend writing this question in, and your answer in a notebook that you have especially for these coaching sessions so that you can look at them from time to time and see how your life is going in the right direction. Now, if you can still change the situation, then do so by all means. Move in the right direction that is in line with all of the moral principles. And this will ensure that you are moving your life to a happier and more fulfilling place for you, which is also better for everyone around you. So to finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I accept total responsibility for my actions and everything I do is for the higher good of all people concerned. I accept total responsibility for my actions and everything I do is for the higher good of all people concerned. Now tell this um, affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with, uh, with repetition and affirmation has the power to enter your subconscious mind and form basically a new you, a better version of yourself. And this is what we want, always to improve ourselves and to go towards a better version, to reach the best version of ourselves. So thank you very much for joining. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel if you want these kinds of videos in your inbox every single day, five times a week. And also visit my website for anything to do with health and nutrition to help you form the right habits to a better, healthier body. The, the, the website is thegorilladiet.com. Thank you very much for joining.